What's going on? <laughs> What's good with y'all? It's your boy, Spice Glory. And I'm back in the building for another video. You feel what I'm saying? And today we're going to be looking at 19-year-old humiliates her family for 2,000 plus Uber rides. Grandmother kicks her out of family. Yo, I don't know what this is. But you and me both, we're going to get into it. We're going to watch this. Let's get this thing popping, man. Without further ado, let's get this thing popping. Everybody's talking about me basically selling their pussy for 200 and I mm. only got 2000 from doing a scene for mm. one night. I just be getting paid 200 a yeah, night. That's a mouthful. Like, that's please. A mouthful. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, they know you 18. No, I'm 19, but they know I'm 19. Yes, yeah. Somebody in the comments asked me why I look uncomfortable. The only reason why I look uncomfortable is because I'm that small. Them niggas are big. They would smack yeah, me. So you gave yourself up for two thousand dollars. True definition of a. You know, y'all, y'all know what I'm, 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 I'm saying. Two thousand dollars is two thousand dollars worth, whatever it is you went and did. It ain't, it ain't, an, it ain't enough money in the world to be humiliating yourself on the internet. It ain't enough money. You gotta have your dignity and your pride at some point. Just because I never, just because somebody never seen two thousand dollars doesn't mean they need to be going through extreme lengths to, you know be doing anything that has to do to to get two thousand dollars it's honest ways to make money you know uh, i was i wasn't they, scared uh, i wasn't was scared uh, but like i was like damn like you don't gotta smack me like that because you know like if it was just some regular nigga, i was not letting no nigga do that but these are professional stars so you know that was just rachel perry right there the new york city 19 year old who recently went viral on Facebook. After her family found out about some of her 304 activities, her grandmother kicked her out of the family. But before- Wait a minute. I think I seen something on this, matter of fact. I, see, I think I seen something about this on Twitter. Somebody was saying something about uh, a female named Roro Banga or whatever, or something like that. And I was like, what the hell is that? Who is that? And I guess this is who they are referring to. I seen I seen like a bunch of videos on TikTok about this woman right here, and I and I I didn't I didn't understand and I couldn't put two and two together. But now I now I get it. Before we get into this, take a second to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. If you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below, and I'm gonna try my best to respond to all of you. What do you do when you have a rebel on your hands? Well, that's what one Brooklyn family is trying to figure out right now. There is a website out there. I'm not going to say the name of it, but it starts with ghetto. I'm just going to call it Double G. And they have three <laughs> Double G. Hey, man, if you know, you know, bro. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, bro on the air all of them happen to be black women and the whole premise of the website is promoting white boys conquering angry black women that's hey man this is true i'm not gonna get in depth on it but gg has a lot to do with black uh these uh these two uh i don't know if it's two or three or i don't know if it's like a company or whatever but it's a it's a company of uh white boys who basically hire black female adult entertainers to come in and basically get disrespected you can almost you can almost kind of ask yourself who would even like seeing a black woman basically get disrespected and get slapped and spit on and throw you know what i'm saying forced into doing anything it's almost kind of like r-wordy when you it's like it's almost kind of like it's r-wordy when you get to like looking on their looking on that site like i i don't know how anybody can get aroused by that like that shit is 
disgusting. Like, if you watch that type of, like, stuff, like, you're, you're another level of, you're another le- level of weird, bro. Like, anybody who is aroused by that or anything in which a, a white man is, is, is basically assaulting a, a black woman and having relations with her on camera and is, you know, is okay with watching that, you're a different type of, you're a different type of breed, and it's a bad breed, for real. That company flourished on their own marketing material. I didn't make that up. For all of the women participating in these activities, they are 18 years old or older. They sign up for it, they sign contracts, and they accept money. They willingly do all of this. So no one's forcing these grown women to degrade themselves the way they do. The really bad thing about it too is once they do this, no matter how much they try to fight to get things removed, they have no rights over that content. The company owns the content. So you have these- It's already too much of a stigma about like this adult film, the adult film industry in general when it comes to black people. It's already a stigma there. But like this company doing what they do and what they specialize in, it just makes it even worse, you know, for anybody who's trying, for any, like, black female who's trying to get into the adult entertainment industry. These young women making these horrible decisions, a lot of them even going against their own family to do Mm -hmm. this stuff, and then later on they regret it, but it's nothing they can do about it. But what happens when you publicly shame your family and some of them even cut you off? Mm. Well, it looks like the Double G website, they got a hold to 19-year-old Rachel Perry out of Brooklyn. Word is that one of her cousins went and told her grandmother that she was on the website. And Mm. all heck broke loose. I would imagine. Why? Because Granny, she was not having it. Her grandmother went on Facebook and said, I have never been so embarrassed, humiliated, and felt so degraded in all of my 68 years. Don't Mm. ever call me your grandmother again as long as you live. Get the family's pictures to H off your page and forget you have one. Mm. You were given everything any child could want. And you're talking about $2,000 like that's money? Mm. That's not adult entertainment. That's being a 50 cents Street 304 live for everyone to see. You are is, is 304 the code word for, for uh, uh, whore, hooker? Prostitute? Is that is that what three hundred four means? I'm sorry, I don't know. I've I've never heard that that terminology before. But yeah, that's that's crazy, bro. Like, it's crazy for two thousand dollars. It's crazy, bro. Brother, the one that's a producer in California and the one in Jersey called. They were in tears and disbelief. I'm done with you, and so is everyone else. Mm. Your first cousin did not want to show it to me. I forced him to. Let's see if that $2,000 can help you gain dignity and self-respect. And you know, it may sound harsh, and some people may say that she's being judged. I know she used those words, saying that she was being judged. But we need more grandmothers like her grandmother. Nah, facts. Those are facts. She's lucky to even have a gr- have somebody in her life who can, you know what I'm saying? Basically, say that they tell it like it is, and that's gonna keep her. these women in their family in check. Yeah. These new age grandmothers, they wouldn't say what Miss Brenda just said and encourage her all. behavior. In fact, they'll sign up to do it with them. Kind of touched on that in this video right here about how you have these Generation X grandmothers passing down 304 traditions to their kids. But I believe Rachel was raised with her mother and father. She's embarrassed them as well. Her father, he didn't say anything on Facebook, but her Mm. mother went off on her too. She embarrassed her two brothers. And according to the grandmother, they are very upset about her decision and what she did. The thing is, back in the day, your name is stood for something. You couldn't just go out in the streets and do whatever you wanted to do. Exactly. You represented your whole family. But you you can't you can't tell it you can't tell this generate you you can't really tell this generation that you, the the way this generation is reared is, is not the same as somebody who grew up who who was uh who was born in nineteen ninety seven or who was born in nineteen ninety five 
and and you know had their parents in their life or had their parents in their life from that time on up you know the values are like straight different it's straight different like a lot of these new a lot of this new generation is letting the 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 internet raise them you know a lot of parents a lot of parents are not in their children's lives mentally you know let alone physically you know um you know a lot of people's parents are workaholics and you know they don't have time to come home and spend time and they got to put food on the table you know but you know the the morals and the moral compass of parenting is like is is so different now it, it's not it's not even remotely the same as my generation and I'm supposed to be considered a millennial. <laughs> From school to anywhere else you went, families that came up during her grandmother's time, yeah. they did not put up with this type of stuff. They didn't do none of that. There was order. You had structure. You exactly. had dignity and respect. But mm -hmm. nowadays, all you see is this booty this, culture. Booty that. Pimp a nigga. Take m uh, finesse a nigga. That's all you see. That's all you hear in this generation. No respect is no respect is, is is taught. Respect is not taught, you know, for our uh, our our our, uh, our black our black our black females in the in the now generation. You know, it's not it's not you know, it's it's almost kind of like it's almost non-existent. It doesn't exist. You have a lot of kids impacted by these external influences. Mm -hmm. They're listening to Cardi B. Facts. They're listening to Meg Thee Stallion. Facts. They are following people like Suki Hana Ridiculous. and Cash Doll. Ridiculous. And they're talking about staying in their bag and getting money. Just like this one right here. Bragging about how they gave her $2,000 $2, to do this mess. In response to the $2,000 ain't enough to do anything. If you think about it, that money that money's gone in a week. <laughs> that money, two thousand dollars is gone in a week. If you take care of every expense that you need to take care of with two thousand dollars, two thousand dollars is gone within a week. End of the day, I don't give a f who's seen anything. I got paid almost two thousand dollars for that video. You think I give a f? And then y'all still paying to watch it? totally lost it and then weird. she had more to say i believe she weird. did an interview on ig take a listen everybody's talking about me bitches be selling their pussy for 200 and i only got 2000 from doing a scene for one night all right just be getting paid 200 a night like please and she kept bringing up the fact that she got paid two thousand dollars like who well, can't like almost two thousand dollars to do one scene yeah that's gonna live on the internet forever exactly. comparing herself to women who sell themselves for 200 like why are you selling at all yeah fuck you fuck you fuck they know you 18 no i'm 19 but they know oh, i'm like right. yes Somebody in the comments asked me why I look uncomfortable. The only reason why I look uncomfortable is because I'm mad small. Them niggas are big. They was smacking yeah, me. They 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 was was like, uh, I was I wasn't they scared. Was I wasn't they scared. Was but uh, like I was like, damn, like you don't gotta smack me like that, cause you know, like if it was just some regular nigga, I was not letting no nigga do that. But these are professional stars, so you know. She said that she would not allow, not allow regular a regular like man that, to do that. But these guys are different. <laughs> they're professional. Anyway, they're about as professional as they're about as professional as as a nigga who has a, a who, as a nigga who has a nice ass camera and a nice ass setup in his apartment. Like what? She's tripping. Why are you even doing this at all? Why are you comparing yourself to prostitutes who who get paid two hundred to to do this every night? Like you, you ain't got no respect for yourself. No, right? Did they force you to do that? She said no. Nah, they didn't. They nah, they didn't. Mad cool. They mad cool. Well, they are mad cool to me. Like first off, they got me a whole Uber from where I live. All the way from out there, they was paying for my Uber there and back from the studio. And wow, Uber. Uber. Regular ass Uber that anybody can pay for. Ooh. 
They pay, they they paid for you a Uber. Regular ass Uber that anybody can buy. Did she say that like that was a luxury or something? What is it? What is she on? <laughs> what is this woman on, bro? Like she tripping, man. She need to, she need to go seek she need to go seek therapy. She really needs to go seek therapy, bro. Like cuz this this ain't it, bro. This ain't it. Uber. Ooh, they got me an Uber. Like, bro, what? She said because they paid for her Ubers back and forth to the studio, they're mad cool. They get new cold words. They get new cold words. They told you for a time out when you They get new Yes, but they give you cold words. Yes, but they get new cold words. Basically all right, cause um he told me about one of the girls that came there before me. He was like how I guess it was too much for her, so she couldn't do it no more. So she just said timed out. That ended the whole she didn't get paid. She just went home and left. But I pause. She said it was another girl that came in before her. They did the same things with her. That should have that should have been the red flag for you right there. The the previous I think that I think that's I think somebody was trying I think uh, <laughs> you you were being told something and you just you were just you didn't listen. You didn't listen when when they, when they said it. Somebody previous to you came in and she couldn't finish. She was uncomfortable. That should have been your red flag right there. That should have been your cue to leave. Go. Get out of there. Exit. Escape. Like, I guess, I guess you didn't like, I guess you didn't understand. I guess you didn't get what was being, wh what was being basically exposed to you right there. Get on. Leave. Get out of there. This ain't something you're supposed to be doing. Get out. The the message was right in your face and you didn't even you didn't even take it. You didn't you didn't take that advice, that 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 message that was there. So that woman tapped out and they uh. sent her home, didn't pay her anything. Can you imagine that by the way? Because the other woman did not make it through the whole scene, she got nothing. But she's patting herself on the back. She says she's a champ. Somebody should go Ridiculous. Out and stop Ain't nobody not gassing me because I before this fucking first I was been lit, been famous. So I don't even care about this. This is just something that's new. You know, it's just annoying, bro. Like I have a life of my own. I have to provide for myself. I I don't my mother and my father do not pay for my shit no more. I buy my own shit. Oh, okay. like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I still live with my mother. She still give a roof over my head, but she don't pay for that shit. She says that she had to go and find a way to make money to pay for her own stuff. Yet, she's still living at home. So, if your basics are already covered, she went and sold her soul mm -hmm. to pay for what, exactly? When you could when you could have just did something decent, when you could have just went and did something decent and just got a, like, got a job or tried to start a business or something, like... You literally, you literally exposed yourself to the internet, and now it's gonna live there forever. Even if she goes and changes her life and does something different, this thing that she did now in this time is gonna live on forever, and it's gonna be a footprint on the internet because the internet never forgets anything. The internet never forgets anything. Even if you delete something from the internet, there's a way for things to be found on, that you deleted, you know. Now you had. Now you're you're gonna have to live with with the fact that this is on the internet forever. Like I said, the internet never forgets. The internet people on the internet are detectives, and they will find stuff. All I can say is that money isn't worth your soul. At this all. This young woman just embarrassed her whole family for mm -mm. $2,000. You know what? Well, let's go it. ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Is her grandmother wrong for kicking her out the family? Or do you agree with the grandmother? Let me know below in the comments. Special thank you to Danny Rule. All right, man. That's the end of the video. Shout out to Pink Book Lessons. Go and subscribe to her. Um, I, I, saw, I saw this story. I didn't. This is like my actual first time reacting to this. Um, 
I never actually, you know, I've never actually like seen this woman's page before or anything like that. But I thought it was an interesting story, and it happened to be a story that I had seen on TikTok. So I do not think her family is wrong for disowning her. Like you literally went and embarrassed your whole family by going to be like follow through with some sexual you know some sexual favors for money basically and all you got out of it was uber rides and two thousand dollars and you live with your mother and then you and then the fact that you went back to your went back after the fact of that and you were back at home and you like you didn't think about the fact that oh hey my family is gonna like see actually see this at some point in time like this is this is like probably the most craziest story I've ever like heard this year. And now she has to basically live with that. It's sad, man. It's sad that, you know, parents, grandmothers, uncles, aunts do all they can to raise a child or to help raise a child and things like this happen you know, out of just curiosity or wanting to, curiosity or wanting to, like, I don't know, just do something like this when you could have just did something, you know, normal. Like, you know, like I said, starting a business. It, it, it caught, like, bro, it costs nothing to start a business. It costs nothing to go get you, a, like, a regular job. I don't, I don't understand why people think, like, having a regular job is, like, weird or square or anything like that that's just it's truly embarrassing for her herself you know and hey man yeah that's the end of the video what did y'all think what should i react to next and shout out to pink book lessons go subscribe to her page peace